guys, how are you doing? I hope all is well. Um, I've had quite a lovely, lovely day today. As you can see, I went out and got my hair done and I just love it. Um, I wanna thank my hairdresser so much <laughs> for doing this for me because I just, I absolutely love, love it. Um, it's so much more manageable now. Um, it's kind of all been hacked back into at the back so it's had all my layers put back in and then I've had my side fringe kind of cut back through as well. Um, I just love it. I think it really kind of brings out more of a face shape whereas before I didn't really have one. <laughs> it was just kind of, <laughs> and now it's, not. So, yay, happy days. I wanted to bring this video to you today um, because Shelly, um, the beautiful Shell X85X here on YouTube, I'll put her link below. Um, she's absolutely beautiful. Um, I'd really, really love it, and I know she would as well if you just go over and check out her channel and subscribe. Um, she requested that I do um, a blush collection, and um, I have so many blushes, I'm gonna kind of get quacking. Quacking? Quacking, cracking, quick smart, because I can't believe I just quacked. So I'm going to do my blush collection. That is what I'm here to do, and that is what I'm going to do. So, um, where shall I begin? I'll do my cream blushes first. I will be swatching all of them as best I can. The lighting isn't amazing. The sun is setting, but it's setting behind my house, so I'm kind of left with whatever's left, which is an amazing amount. But I'll um, I'll swatch as much as I can and I've got a baby wipe so I can take everything off and do fresh swatches for everything. So start with my cream blushes. The first one I have is this one from the Body Shop and it is a cheek blush in the colour uh, Rose. No. It looks like this. <laughs> I, think it, I think it was in the sale and it cost me like 75p or something. I was quite impressed with this. Um, I don't use this very often because I honestly find this to be incredibly dark, I think, for a blush. Um, even if I, you know, obviously blend it, um, it still seems to be quite a dark um, colour. It's more like a lip pencil, to be honest. Um, it's really, really dark. So um, I do like it. I wear it very, very occasionally, especially um, on in the winter. Um, it just kind of brings out a little bit more of colour in my cheeks which I prefer. This next one is from Barbara Daly and uh, it's called Sheer Glow and I like this one because it comes in a little little squirty pumpy bottle and again I'll do a swatch of that next to next to that grape. So you can see it there, it's kind of blobby but it wasn't a very good swatch I apologise. Um, it's kind of like, um, like a darker brown, it's not so much of a blush, more of a, um, it says sheer glow on it, um, I would say it's more probably like a like a liquid bronzer than anything, it's a really really beautiful colour though, I really like it. The next two are from Boots, I have this one in rosy pink, these are both from the Natural Collection, this one in rosy pink, I'll swatch that next to, what is going on with my swatches today, they're so bad, you can't really swatch cream cream colours so that's that one next to it so it's really really beautiful almost um kind of natural nudie pink and this next one is in apricot blush and this is my newest one which you can see in my huge haul that I did from um boots and I did some online shopping as well I'll put that below in case you want to see this and um and it's just here next to it so it's very very similar in colour but there's not as much of a pink undertone to it so those are all of my cream blushes. All right, so the next ones are from e.l.f. I've got four from their basic line and two from their studio line. The first one I have from their normal line is this one in the shade Koi. It's a very dark, dusty, rosy kind of pink. It's really, really pretty. It gives a really subtle glow to the skin. It's a, um, a matte one as well. You can just about pick it out on my hand. It's so, so subtle. It's beautiful. The next one I have is this one in Innocence. And this is a dark kind of bubblegum pink um, it's not kind of dropped it it's not kind of full-on in your face pink but I'll just swatch that above the koi so you can just about pick it out it's very very just about there so you can just see it really cute candy pink the next one I have is in glow and this one's more of a kind of a coral more of an um, kind of a pinky orange um, and I will swatch that one underneath Koi, it looks like that, this bottom one here, so it's a lot darker, and the last one I have is in Shy, and this one is probably my favourite out of all of the um, e.l.f. line blushes, and this is just this beautiful baby pink, 
Um, I don't know how well this one will swatch because it's so, it's really, oh, okay, that's not too bad. Okay, that's right at the bottom. You can just pick it out. I'm so sorry about my lighting, it's really, really bad. But there are the four blushes from the Elf line. <laughs> the next two are from the Elf Studio line. So I have this one in Peachy Keen. And I love, I love this one. Um, it's You have to give it quite a good rub in because it is quite sheer. You're not going to pick that out at all. <laughs> it's very, very sheer. It's more of a, more of a, um, kind of a, um, a skin glow uh, than it is a, um, a blusher. It just kind of lifts the cheek, especially if you place it along the cheekbones, it just gives your face a little bit of a lift. But my favourite one is this one and this is in Fuchsia Fusion. And it's this really, really bright pink and you can see the glitter. It's beautiful. And I'll swatch that on my hand there. So you can see how bright that stands out. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, and I actually wore this at Christmas and my mum asked me whether I was doing any exercise or taking anything different in terms of vitamins or eating something because I looked so healthy. But I just said, no, it comes from a packet. It's, 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 um, it's my blush. So they're the two from the e.l.f. studio line. So I've got a few from Collection 2000. I have this one in Breathless. I love this one really gorgeous peachy colour. Stunning. Again, it gives a really, really gorgeous glow to the skin. Not so much of a um, a blush, but just really, really picks out the high points of your face. It's lovely. And this one is in Trouble. And again, kind of a darker, dusty pink. You can see I don't use blushes very often. They don't look very worn at all. Um, there's Trouble next to um, Breathless. And then I've also got this one. Now this one is um, actually um, a mono eyeshadow, but it is way too bright to be an eyeshadow. I couldn't make it work as an eyeshadow at all. So I decided to use it as a blush to see how I got on. Actually quite surprised. It's a really, really beautiful, it was a hot pink, but it's in Viva Vegas. Um, and as I said, I, it is supposed to be an eyeshadow. But even though it's gonna come across incredibly dark, if you use it, there it is at the top, if you use it sparingly, it's a really, really beautiful blush. It's absolutely gorgeous, I love it. It works really, really well considering um, it's an eyeshadow, but you know, it's makeup, so be creative, go with it. <laughs> Okay, so the next one I have here is from Real London, and this is a lasting finish powder blush in Summer Fever. Um, it comes in these three different shades of pink here. I will swatch all three of them for you um, and just kind of line them up one after the other. So there's the three of them, absolutely beautiful. I haven't really worn this one, I must admit, um, but um, the one, the couple of times that I have worn it, it has been really, really pretty, really, really easy to apply. And as you get the three colours, if you kind of brush it on and then blend it all together, it just creates this really, really gorgeous colour. They're so versatile, they work annoyingly separately because it's a bit of a pain especially to get the one in the middle but they are absolutely gorgeous colours and this only came, I think this one came from the pound shop so I was quite impressed with that one. <laughs> the next blush I have is from Sleek and it is in the colour Rose Gold and this is one of my favourite blushes as well. I absolutely adore this blusher. Um, it's stunning. It's absolutely beautiful. It's really, really gorgeous. You can see the, the iridescence in there as well. So it's got the gold shimmer and then in certain lights it's pink and in others it's gold. So it's absolutely beautiful. I love this blush so much. I wear it quite a lot. It's really, really pretty. I have a, t a couple from Beauty UK. This first one is just in shade number five. Um, and this is actually quite an old one. Most of the patterns disappeared on it as well. Uh, this is in shade five. It's this gorgeous hot pink. Um, I love this blush. Um, it's not used very often because it's very sheer. You can't really pick it out, but on the days that I do wear it, it's, you can just, just see it. She is in shade one candy shop, which was actually sent to me by Shelley for my birthday. This is an absolutely beautiful blush. I wear this one a lot. I love this blush. Can you see that? Yay, there it is. It's beautiful, isn't it? It is such a gorgeous color. I love this blush. It's really, really candy pink. It's got very, very subtle shimmers in it too. I love it, I love it. I love, love, love it. <laughs> I have a couple from MUA. Now those of you that live in the UK will obviously know that these, um, where these came from. If you're not from the UK and you're not familiar with MUA, MUA is a line that is exclusive to Superdrug. Um, they're basic um, 
products are all a pound and then their professional products start from £2.50 and go up to £8 which is amazing value and the products you get are fantastic. So I have a couple of the blushes, this one in shade 2, I have a dark, dark dusky pink but the pigmentation on it is amazing. Which that one looks like that. You can just about pick that out. I'm so sorry about this lighting. It's so bad. Um, and this one in shade 3. And this one's very similar to the rose gold, only it doesn't have the gold in it. So it's just rose, really. And that looks like that. So as you can see, it's a much, much darker colour. But two of the most beautiful blushes. They're incredible. The next two I have is from a company called Miners. And I actually found these in um, an outlet store. Um, we have this one which is an incredibly light pale pink and I actually use this as a highlighter um, for my eyes and my cheekbones um, rather than a blush. You can see how bright that is, it's beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. I can't tell you a shade number, it doesn't say anything, it just has Miners Cosmetics written on the bottom. There was no name for it. Um, the same with this one which is a bit of a darker pink, more of a, more of a peachy apricot tone. Um, but again, the pigmentation is not viewable. <sighs> there. <laughs> um, this one is from the Natural Collection and this is in the colour Pink Cloud. And um, I actually got this home and I didn't check but it, it is shattered so I have to be extra, extra careful with this one. But when you swatch it, if I get rid of that swatch, when you actually swatch it, typical. This is really, really pretty, kind of candy pink. It's really, really gorgeous. The only problem is, as I said, because I shattered it, I can't use it very much. So I just have to be uber careful with it. But I can do that. I have loads of shattered eyeshadows and stuff as well, so I should take more care of my makeup. But I. Bad Harriet. <laughs> this next one is by Milani Minerals, and this was sent to me by Kathy. This is in the colour Luminous. I can't tell you a number because I ripped the label off, which is annoying. Um, but there is the colour. It's absolutely beautiful. It's a really, really shimmery pink. I love it. Very, again, very similar to the rose gold, but with less, you know, it's a bit, a bit sheerer. So it's not as overpowering, but it's a beautiful blush. It's one of my most worn blushes. Um, I love it. I try not to use it too much because I don't think you can get Milani in the UK. I've never seen it, so um, I'm a bit scared of running out. And my last blush that I have is this one from Smooch. This is a Dewa blusher. I've never heard of this company before, but I received it for Christmas. Um, and it doesn't have a colour. I'm trying to remember the colour. I think it's called Peach. I think it was called Peachy. I'll have to have a look on my um, Christmas haul, because I know I talk about this in my Christmas haul. But it's a Dewa blush. You get two colours in there. And these are stunning pigmentation. I love them. I absolutely love these blushes. I'm so thankful to Steve's cousin for getting these for me. I love them. They're gorgeous. So that is my blush collection. That's all the blushes I own. Kind of a vary of, you know, variation of different shades of pink and um, companies. Um, I don't actually wear blush all that often. I'm more of a kind of, if I put any colour on my cheeks, it is bronzer. It's not you know, I don't hollow the cheeks out, and I don't contour or anything, I just chuck a little bit of bronzer on each of the cheeks and I'm good to go. Um, when I do wear blusher, it's, you know, it's usually for special occasions because I just want to make myself look and feel a little bit more glamorous. So I don't use blushes that often, which is why I don't have that many. Um, but I hope that you've enjoyed this little collection video. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Please, as always, leave me your comments because I love reading them. And I will talk to you all soon. Oh, I'm going to subscribe to Shelley. Now, go and do it, and I'll talk to you all soon. Take care, guys. Bye.